Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this lovely Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, but for now, it's an urban... Oh, bloody hell. Nearly broke my computer desk. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, it's an urban world, no moving. Our favourite. Uh, episode 5. The score to beat is 20,826, as usual. Achieved, I think, on the second episode. We've got to beat that now. It's, it's getting silly. We've got to beat that. And it's perfectly doable. Let's press challenge and let's give this a go. Here is the URL that you will be using to play along. Paste. And let's do it. Okay, let's get in the zone. Here we go. We've got snow on the ground, but it looks it looks Japanese at first glance. Can't see the sky for all the wires. Um yeah, the guitar the guitars? The guitars? Really, mate? Do you want to wake up? Um, the cars, <laughs> definitely looking Japanese. We've got a Daihatsu, or is that a Subaru van? I've never seen a Subaru van. Or is it a Hyundai? Can't tell. I think it's a Daihatsu. Here we go. Here's all the script. Seragem. Healing your life. Wow. You've sold it. You've sold it to me. Um, yeah, it's looking... Well, it's looking quite blocky. Ah, we've got circles. Okay. This could be... Yeah, this could be Korea then. I think it almost definitely is. Making that a Hyundai, possibly. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. We're in a fairly big city here, I would have thought. Definitely Korean. Definitely Korean. As, as if to think I would have been confused by that before you lot pointed out that the circles were only in Korean. Embarrassing, really. That is a church. That's a Christian church right there. So maybe that will be on the map if somehow we figure out what city we're in. Um, but it's going to be hard to do that. Very hard to do that without somehow stumbling, stumbling across a sign that we think alludes to the city. Which I doubt. I mean, this could. Thi this could possibly have it. Let's get in there and have a quick look. The blessing is with South Korea compared to Japan. It's all in one place. It's one big blocky square shape, really. So you're never too far away, whether you're in Busan or Seoul or Incheon, Daegu. Whereas Japan is a right bugger, with all respect. Um, so... Can I look at any of these places? They're quite short name. They, they're all short, aren't they? And so they should be, really, the amount of different symbols they have. So they bloody should be. Um, can we look around on anything? Any any of these? I'm just kind of... I'm 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 just delving into silly territory, but it's worth a look. In fact, I think I should go north, seeing as we're in the snow. And I think I've I've also realised that that ain't going to happen. I'm not going to find out which city we are in from looking at signs, I don't think. Maybe it's possible, but it could, could well take five or ten minutes um, or more. So I'll go for a northern city. And I will go... Where shall I go? Some of these places big. I can't see any mountains. Can we see any mountains? Can't see any at all. What about that in the distance? No. That's just a wire <laughs> going across there. Um, should have known, really. Okay, I'm going to go for Incheon, I think. It's fairly far north. I don't, I don't know if that's if the northness is going to make too much impact on the snow, but I think it increases our chances, if anything. Maybe slightly. So taller buildings are to the south. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, let's go here. Okay. So we were actually in Daejeon, which I've said incredibly French, uh, which probably isn't the right pronunciation. It's probably Daejeon or something like that. Koreans, let me know just how shit that actually was. Um, 
Four, five, one, eight points is a lovely little score to feast your eyes on. Um, 88.3 miles. I think it'll be hard pushed to beat that every round, but we'll see. If I can achieve that kind of score every round, that will be a dream, and that will give me a score that will be hard to beat. Well done if you guessed anywhere nearer than that. I think if you went Daegu, I think you would have done. But I think lots of you will have had the similar idea to me to go north because of the snow. Let's move on. Okay. This looks a bit more American, doesn't it? Look at Hank here. Just locked his car. He's just going to Boston Sports Club. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't work out, he just kind of buys a beer and sits on the side and reads the newspaper. Boston Sp oh we're okay we're in Boston <laughs> okay Boston Sports Club that's ridiculous um just <laughs> too busy making a joke didn't realize that the most glaringly obvious clue was right there in front of me and I even said it so Boston Sports Club yeah okay right there's some tall buildings in Boston they're just to the south do you know what I think we can go in there oh this is going to be heartbreaking if this isn't Boston for some reason Okay, let's get in there. Oh God, where is it? There it is, Boston. Right, downtown is in this general area. I think it's safe to say. Can we find Boston Sports Club? I don't see why we can't. But at the moment, I can't. Can we get a street name? Is that too much to ask? Or this bank, perhaps? Webster Bank. Webster Bank. Can't read that name. Um, reserved for Boston Police. That just backs up that we are indeed in Boston. That's kind of relieving. So, yeah, it's just... Boston Sports Club, really, that we need to look out for. And it is definitely to the north of most of the stuff. There's some tall buildings there. Maybe if we go up here. Boston Massacre site. Was that the... Was that the marathon thing? I would have thought so. Uh, Boston Sports Club, then, is what we're looking for. Hard Rock Cafe. The Bostonian Boston. So I've just learnt that Boston Bostonians are called Bostonians. Um, probably would have guessed that to be fair. Bostonians makes sense, but can't find the sports club at the moment. Not at the moment. Got to get it there. I want to get the you know I want to get the best score we possibly can. Downtown Harvard Club of Boston. Yeah. Not getting it. Could just click. Boston Sports Club. Got it. Finally. So. Buff Bullfinch. <laughs> I thought he said Buff Clinch. That would have been a really nice word. Bullfinch Place. Okay. I think we're there. I think we're almost definitely there. There's the little alleyway that leads to Hawkins. And we are there. Let's do it. Oh, my God. We weren't there. 49.4 metres. I've got the points. It was the next It was the next one. That was Buff Bullfinch Place was that little alleyway. Got that all wrong. And if I'd have actually just studied it, I would have seen that that was the police station. And that was the sports club. Never mind. I've got the points. I would have been fuming if I didn't, but I did. Let's carry on. Really good score at the moment. Great Western Bank. Can't read that, but we'll keep looking around. This looks like America again. Quite an old church down there. But I still think it's America. What is this then? Mackenzie River. Mackenzie River. Now, isn't that in Canada? The Mackenzie River. I'm not sure. Main Avenue. 
Boyce Law Firm. Some of you will know this. I don't think this is a big city, 11th Street, but some of you will know it, and we've got it. It's Sui. I mean, I'm going to get lambasted whichever way I say this, but is it Sioux or Sioux Falls? Sui Falls? Sioux Falls? Oh, God. Okay, welcome to downtown Sui Falls, I'm going to call it, which I know is wrong, so shut your traps. Let's find it. Which state is that in? It's the Mackenzie River. There it is. I've got it. I thought I'd recognize it. It's probably from the the countless times that I've zoomed into Nebraska and Dakota and Iowa if I'm stuck in the middle of a cornfield. So we've got we've got Sioux City and Sioux Falls. I'd love to know how this is spelt. Can someone spell it out phonetically, please? Was it Sioux Falls? I'm pretty sure it was. I'll just check. Yeah, it was. So, 11th Street and Main Avenue. It's all set up for us on a plate here. If you don't get this, you're, you know, you're a bit of a thicky, really. Let's be honest. So, 9th Street. I laugh, I got it wrong. 14th, 13th, 11th. And this surely is Main. It's not. Minnesota Avenue. So where is Main Avenue then? I fail to believe. No, I fail to believe that that isn't it. I think we're here. Bank Midwest. Mackenzie River. Is that there? I can't see it. Where's Snort's Barbecue? <laughs> I can't see that either unless it's down here. Oh dear. Okay. Not to worry, we'll get there, we'll get there. Midwest Bank. No, it's not Midwest Bank, but I'm sure I saw that. Great Western Bank. Right, let's keep looking for a Main Street then, because unless that's 11th Street, and then we've got, yeah, West 11th Street. There, Main Avenue. Got it, Mackenzie River. Boyce Law Firm, boom. Let's go back to the... Oh, no, we don't need to go back to the start. We haven't moved. Yeah, we're just about on the south side of this junction. There. 4.7 metres. What? No, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, we weren't there, but yeah. Okay, 5,000 points. Yeah, this is going really well. I just hope it doesn't fall to pieces. Talab Building. Football Kenya Federation. South Coast Branch. Bloody hell. The clues in this game that have befell us, befallen us, are absolutely brilliant. The Automobile Association of Kenya. Lots of thing lots of things based in this building. The national football team. The Automobile Club. Mapenzi Kesi. I think we can get the uh the town here, can't we? Dola? Is that the town? Let's have a look at the south coast of Kenya. Okay, Mombasa would be the probable choice, wouldn't it? But let's keep looking. Let's look for clues that say Mombasa. I think, hopefully, we'll get one because it's got to be a major city. Mombasa, sweet mart. There we go. Now, the question is, can we get a street name? We've got the Diamond Trust Bank, Yomo Kenyatta Branch. Is that an area of Mombasa? Let's get in there. Ah, it's all on this island. Look, let's have a look. Let's have a look. But discover two kakaka. Let's look for Jomo Kenyatta as a possible area. You never know. Mombasa. Or oh, is that the name of the guy who runs it? Could well be. I think we can do better than that, clues-wise. Doesn't say the street name there. Um, come on, what else have we got? What else do we have? We're on a very main street, aren't we? To be fair, heading kind of south. Is it possible to get a street name? 
Hmm. Not by the looks of things. Let's see if we can get in here. Find the main street. Could be this one, look. I reckon it's this one. We've got a total petrol station. So there's a shell. Ooh, I thought that was football club. No, it's just Makuli Fagia Club, whatever that is. Won't ask. Okay, and then we're out. So remember, we could be on another road. Could be on this one. Let's see. Could we be further down? Yomo Kenyatta. Wait a minute. Yomo Kenyatta. Where did I just see that? It's gone now. It's bloody gone. There it is. KCB Yomo Kenyatta Avenue. So this is the road. This is definitely the road. Question is, can I find... And it's definitely not down there. We're on the straight bit. So we're up here somewhere. Could it be that that shell garage transformed into a total garage? Quite possibly. Boston Leisure. We're back in Boston. Now I am confused. Um, yeah, so we're looking out for a couple of things really. But a total garage. Olibia. Could be that look. Saba Saba Olibia. I don't know. Haven't seen a total garage. That's the main confusing thing. Okay. Okay, I'm looking on the wrong side of the road. That might be why. Um, am I? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Rent a kill. Right, and then we're, we're up to a, a roundabout. Can I see that roundabout at all? I can't, to be honest. So I think we I think we're further down here. Right. Can I see Barclays or DTB, which is another bank apparently. So DTB Barclays, DTB Barclays. If not, I'm just going to click on the street somewhere. Total Kenyatta Avenue. Got yeah. Diamond Trust Bank. Here we go. There's Barclays. It's in that building. Yeah. Barclays is also in this Talab building, which we are right next to. I'm going to say we are there. 7.6 meters. That'll do nicely. Wow. What a game this is. 19.518 points. Okay. We haven't beat the record in four rounds, but we almost have. And if we get a strong round here, which... Uh, Remains to be seen, but it looks like we're in Europe. Then we will almost definitely beat our score. Let's look for any clues that we possibly can here. So, cars. Let's have a look at the cars. What do we got here? We've got a Volkswagen Polo, which uh, could do with a little bit of TLC. We've got an Audi. The one next to us there looks like it's a... Ooh, is it a... Citroen Saxo, something like that. Not sure. Peugeot 306, something like that. French, then. Um, and then we've got a Mercedes, a Citroen. Brand spanking new Citroen. A Fiat. No, that's an Opel or Vauxhall for you English people. Got a girl over there. Didn't notice her. She's Oh, she's being serenaded by this man, look. This young man. Please, I want you back. Uh, no, get out of my life, Lorenzo. Um, okay, not saying we're in Italy, but that possibly looks like a Mazda. That is just a shitty Ford. The new Focus, is it? God, the designs have gone down the pan. And that is a BMW. So all in all, a bit of a mix. I would say we're not in France. Not only because of the shapes of the buildings, kind of, but also too many German cars. That has writing on it, but I can't read it. But you don't, I think that's more German, you know. Um, so this could be Belgium. It could be, could be Luxembourg, to be honest. Knowing Mapper, he likes to throw a lot of Luxembourgs in. So yeah, we've got to make a decision now. We've absorbed all of the information that we can, I think. 
Um, yeah, I think I think I'm inclined to go for Germany here or Luxembourg. I might go for Luxembourg. I feel like they're more likely to have German cars in Luxembourg. Ah, but it could be Germany. Could well be Germany. Is there anything that can give this away? They look quite... I don't know what they look. It's going to say a bit darker in complexion. Could still be German. Um, okay, is there anything else? Is there a Germany balloon that's got caught in the trees? Oh, no. Never mind. Unlucky. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for Luxembourg. And if I'm right, hurrah. If I'm wrong, at least I'm near to Germany. And a lot of the places around here wouldn't be too far away from where I've clicked. It's It's some of these buildings that don't look very German. To be honest, like this whole road doesn't look that German. The church, it looks Belgian or, or Luxembourg. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for, let's zoom out a bit. Are we in Luxembourg City here or are we further over to one of these places? How about here? Let's go here. Here we go. Oh my God, it was France. My word. So, just an abnormal concentration of French cars. <sighs> yeah, I knew there was something about the buildings that didn't look German. Um, just went with the odds, really. Le Havre, which is where you get the ferry to from Southampton. 284 miles. A bit disappointed with that round, but let's view the summary because we've done it. 23,126 points. That's a really nice number. I don't know what it is about that number. Maybe it's just the victory that oozes from it. But we got South Korea, Kenya. Didn't get France. Uh, but we did successfully get Boston and Sioux Swe Falls. Um, I think I was helped out there by some decent clues. Some, um, some pretty handy rounds there that kind of handed it to me. And I think a lot of you, despite me smashing my record, will have beaten that. I think you will have beaten that score, some of you, uh, that that perhaps went further into France. Um, and I think some of you may have even beat my career score too. So well done, anyone who's beat me. I will wholeheartedly believe you if you comment with your the story of your game. I love reading through those. Um, but honest people only. Good, nice, honest people only. Respectful people, okay? Uh, yeah, honestly, well done. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along as always. Let me know if you want to see more of this um, series. Uh, I toyed with the idea of doing an urban world, no moving, scrolling or zooming, okay? I think it would be pretty tough to resist the temptation to uh, scroll around. Uh, but yeah, that might be a fun one to do. And it might be a fun thing for you guys to play along with because we've never done that together. Uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Ta-da.